hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and in today's video i'm going to be doing my hair so today i did these two jumbo braids these are stitch braids but i used rubber bands instead of stitching because stitch braids are really really hard especially when you're doing it on your hair like to do the stitch patterns is really really hard like i've tried it many times and it doesn't really turn out the way i want like i can do it on my daughter's hair but i can't do it on my hair because you kind of have to see uh what you're parting when you're doing the braids so i decided to do it with rubber bands and i am really really happy with the results this is what i've been wanting for a really really long time just two jumbo simple fitting braids and i am in love with them so if you guys want to see how i did them then keep on watching so i'm just gonna go ahead and take my red tail comb and part my hair since i'm doing two lines i'm just gonna put it in the middle going all the way back And I'm also using this molding gel wax by styling threads and I'm going to apply it on my puttings. So now I am done putting my hair into two. So next I'm going to put again right in the middle of this one. It doesn't really have to be perfect. This is just going to guide me like where the um braid is gonna sit and i'm taking this isoplast styling gel and i'm going to put it right in the middle so since i'm working with thicker braids this is going to help smooth out everything in the middle and next i'm taking my rubber bands i get this ones from shein and now i'm going to start doing my stitch patterns so i'm going to start by sectioning the first one out so the first one is not gonna have rubber bands so taking my rubber band i'm going to go ahead and secure this part like so so I'm just going to continue doing this for all the pieces. So I am done putting the first line and this is how it's looking. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same on this one. And then after that, I can go ahead and start braiding. So I am back now. All my puttings are done. 
this is how they look from the back and the hair that i'm using is the darling yaki braid and this is in number one so i've already stretched the hair piece and separated it into two because i want this to be like thick and bulky so it's going to be like a full pack just for two braces so they're going to be like super thick and super jumbo so i'm gonna go ahead and start braiding my hair so on the first section here i didn't put rubber bands because um this is the one i'm going to start braiding with so i'm just gonna separate it into three sections and start forming a braid like so and i'm going to start adding my hair and the way that i separated this hair pieces they start from like the smaller ones going towards the thicker ones So I am done with all my braids and this is how they are looking. And as you can see, I do have like some flyaways, but it's my real hair. So I don't want to cut that out. So I'm going to add some mousse. This is the Design Essential Composition Wrap Lotion. I'm going to put it all over my hair. So this is going to smooth out everything and get rid of all these flyaways and... Just make everything look nice and neat and clean. And I'm also putting it on my edges here. And I'm taking my little edge brush and just shape them a little bit. And I'm taking my silk scarf and I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this down 
so i'm gonna leave this on until my hair is dry and then i'll come back and show you guys the final results so i am back now with my hair dry and this is how it's looking this is the other side and here's how it is from the back so yeah this is the final look i really really love how it turned out i love how simple it is it's like a perfect protective hairstyle that you can keep your hair tucked in for like a week or two so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to enable the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads and i'll see you guys in my next one